What is up you guys? My name is Nori and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a huge bookish book box unboxing. I have become obsessed with bookish boxes. They are literally the best things ever and I'm literally... I'm always sitting and waiting for my book box like well, what's gonna come what is the book I'm so excited oh my god so if you did not know we have a whole lot of companies that do bookish boxes I'm actually a rep for Owl Crate and was fortunately enough to get picked through the unplugged book box but for the adult side so I have some YA books and I have some cool adult books to show you guys but the focus of this video it is I'm going to be doing my first giveaway for the limited edition or the owl crate version of Holly Black's hold on y'all how the king of L fame learn to hate stories I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I have a lot to celebrate this year for my channel and for being a rep and I was lucky enough to get not one but two copies of this story. Now all you have to do is tell me if you liked, loved, or even hated the Cruel Prince trilogy by Holly Black. Just leave the comments down below and hello if you're coming from Twitter or Instagram as well because I will be advertising there as well. Let me tell you, this book is absolutely gorgeous. So it comes through this book. This book is, let me, hold on. I'm not even joking. I was, I'm, excuse me, art ridiculous the naked book stunning and then the dust cover jacket oh my god let us just appreciate Cardin high king himself just chilling there looking spectacular I was so amazed when I opened this book box and realized that there were so many goodies in here. This book is gorgeous. I love this trilogy so much. It's one of my favorite trilogies or YA trilogies and it comes with this gorgeous photo and a note from Holly Black herself. So if you were even remotely interested of winning this book box, it will be unopened. I'll just scratch out all my information back here, but I will send you the full box so you can enjoy and love this book as much as I do. Just again, leave a comment down below and I'll be picking a winner within a week. So I will post the video on Instagram and on Twitter. Again, if you want to have a chance of winning this book, just comment down below. And we are going to be moving on to the next book boxes, y'all. Bookish boxes are a gift from the bookish gods because, oh my god, beautiful. So the first book box that we're going to be opening, it is Book of the Month. Book of the Month. Everybody knows Book of the Month. I just did a Book of the Month a collection video. I love them so much because you all you're doing is paying $15 for Tarl hard new releases and it is gorgeous my two picks are we even surprised i'm so excited to get to both of these my first pick it is mexican gothic by sylvia moreno garcia this has been i talked about this book in uh 2020s overhype books and if i'm actually interested in reading it but mm -hmm, i picked it up i'm super interested so this is like a uh, thriller mystery novel and um something's going on she has to go back but this house and her family has dark secrets it's a very short book it's a very immersive book i'm excited and the next book that we have here it is ready player two by ernest klein you guys know that well if you did not know because i've never made a video out of it if you'd like to see it 
let me know. But Ready Player One is one of my favorite books of all time. I am a massive gamer. I love gaming and I loved the book. I love all the references. I had a blast reading that book and I've actually reread it more than two times, which is great. But Ready Player Two came out and I saw that they had it in a tall hardback version. Your girls got I had to get it okay I had to get it so if you did not know Ready Player One it is a dystopian book and in the future everything is about the oasis which is you put on your glasses or you put on your suit and there is an online world where you literally do everything because the world that they live in planet earth is literally destroyed it's dystopian it's horrifying but inside the oasis it's literally bliss so following the events that happen in ready player one we continue on ready player two because there are more surprises i'm so excited to get to this book you guys have no idea i'm ready to read this all right so our first book box we're going to be doing unplugged now this is another bookish box obviously but it is dedicated to adult books and this one is this one's november yes this one's november it has a spoil card it comes looking like this and inside hidden is all the bookish goodies so i wanted to do an unboxing before everything kind of hit the fan but everything hit the fan and I never did an unboxing so we are going to be unboxing all of this together and um I should keep the spoil card you know okay so we have a bookish mug and it is beautiful oh my god and I already read it if you could not tell by this right here it is a Game of Thrones mug I am a coffee drinker, but I'm actually a tea drinker as well. And I love mugs. I'm always drinking coffee. My house is always drinking coffee. Our guests are always drinking coffee. So we always need mugs and bookish mugs are literally the best. Continuing on. Okay, so we have a candle. It is a breakfast at Oliver's. This is a bookish boyfriend material candle and it's supposed to be smelling like cinnamon French toast it is gorgeous uh, glittery oh my god it literally smells like maple syrup oh that smells so good that's amazing so um i will put the book up here of what it is inspired and if you can tell by the sticker there it was made by until the very end co so again this oil card has um all the savings so not only do you get like books but you get discount off of bookish things as well next here we have a lotion bar which is very exciting because florida is participating in winter and your girl needs to stay moisturized so this is i'd rather take coffee than compliments just now Yes, I was just talking about coffee. Absolutely. This is actually a Little Women inspired lotion bar. Oh my God. I love it. Next thing we have here, which is super delicious. Oh my God. It is a Charlie Brown pancake mix. These are pumpkin. Pumpkin spice pancakes. Oh my god. Dude, I wish I would have opened this because this would have been great. But guess what? I'm going to be making pumpkin spice pancakes very soon. I'm so excited. You can kind of smell it through here and it smells delicious. The last couple of items before we get to the book is two. It is cider spice which is yummy, especially for the cold. Your girl is definitely going to be using this tonight. And the last thing that we have here, it is a measuring cups. Honestly, I feel like this book box is definitely dedicated to something with food. And I can kind of guess what the book is. And I'm so ready. We're going to First of all, the packaging is so cute and we're going to unbox it together and the book, it is Simmer Down by Sarah Smith. This is a obviously food inspired romance. 
we love to see it i love me some romance and i'm guessing this has to do with two food trucks and um one food truck is uh battling for the space so in between them battling for the space to keep the food truck in the most populated area they actually fall in love so one of them is going to lose but is going to gain i don't know spicy can't wait all right, so we're going to be doing now December's Unplugged Adult Book Box. We're going to go through these quickly because I feel like I'm taking way too long and I want you guys to actually watch the video and not lose interest because we can kind of see when you guys cut off. So we're going to keep moving. This one's actually adult fiction. And the first thing that I see right here, it is We're Far From Perfect, But We Are Good. And this is a supernatural zipper pouch. You guys know I am a huge fan of supernatural. I am so excited. Oh my god. We have um Dean and then we have a Sam on the back. I'm a huge supernatural fan. I love it with all of my heart and soul. Next thing that we have here. So this right here is Sweeney Todd's cleaning spatula which is a super cool it says kitchen spatula actually acts like a squeegee to help scrape food off that is caked onto pots and pans this is definitely an adult thing and you can just you know go like this and it scrapes off everything i love it it's definitely something that i can use every single day so next we have an area x candle you guys know i am obsessed with bookish candles it looks very cool very holographic mmm mmm that smells really nice what does that smell i'm horrible at describing candles but we're gonna see we're gonna see it is blood orange cloves and green leaves so it has a citrusy scent but it has like a wood scent as well love it next thing that we have here it is a book a pen you guys i am literally collecting bookish pens now because oh my god so cute and this is a witcher pen love it we have a two more things here first one i am literally going to devour this tonight and that is dark chocolate mix oh my god if you did not know i'm obsessed with hot chocolate but dark chocolate is literally my favorite chocolate ever so this combination again florida is participating in winter so your girl is gonna have a lot of use for this it's purple it's my favorite color it was meant to be obviously and then the last thing we have here it is a rolling pin it says welcome back jason adesson this is a rolling perfume which i've never had any like i remember this it almost looks like the lip glosses back in the day i might be throwing out my age out there but like the lip glosses oh wow oh my god that smells absolutely delicious oh my gosh it's almost like an oil texture well if you did not know roll-on perfumes are more oily but it means that they're going to stay longer this is definitely something that i want to keep in my purse because it smells so good and we're finally getting into the book we are going to unbox this together and the book for december for the adult fiction it is the lady upstairs by hallie sutton and it says up here it is a dark delicious thriller about a woman who makes a living taking down terrible men then finds herself in over her head with blood on her hands the way out pull off one final con so uh you guys know that i'm not really into thrillers but i did read a thriller this year 2020 and i really liked it so i think i'm gonna make this my second thriller ever read because it's pretty short let's see yeah it's literally 300 pages so i can definitely finish this fairly quickly so thank you unplugged book box all of the website links will be down below 
All right, so we are down to the last two boxes. And the first one that we're going to be doing is the November Owl Crate book box, which is super exciting. You guys know that Owl Crate is the bomb.com for me. I love them a lot. I'm a rep. I'll leave the code. But first of all, this spoil card, ugh, gorgeous. Talk about appreciating of art. So we're going to have a lot of wood or like forest inspired things. All right, so I'm going to keep the spoil card here. First of all, packaging. Honestly, packaging is so huge for me, and Owl Crate really does that. It says, you took the truth and you made it into flowers. This box is gorgeous. And, oh, look. We have this precious, like, necklace. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's definitely, I think they're called dandelions. And there's just pressed flowers, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a very simple necklace, and I love that. The next thing that we have here, it is, it says, I have no idea what this is. It says flowers and hearth fire, spiced wine, and underneath the scent of a home. Oh, it says this, use this beautiful flower press to dry and preserve lovely flowers so i was literally just talking about this and i didn't even know what first of all again with the packaging gorgeous let me take it out of the thing because i want to show you guys this is a flower press so if you're definitely into art then this is going to be epic <laughs> Next thing that we are moving on here, it is an envelope. And I have no idea what's in the envelope, but we are going to see together. And it is, if I can pull it out. Oh, look. They're cards. They're flower cards. That's so pretty. Okay, this one's so pretty. I'm, I'm already getting ideas to, like, buy a bookish, like, a, a frame. And then just kind of design them from here. That's so pretty. Okay, these are Lord of the Rings inspired postcards. Oh my god, that, that's so cool. Next thing that we have here, it is the pen. And it is, oh, look at this cute little bear. So cute. It is the November pen. Again, we're going with a wild theme and flowers. I love it. And then here, ooh, it is a stickers. It is a bookish stickers. Look at that. Oh my God. I need to show you all the back. Look at this. Are you kidding? How freaking cool is that? I love stickers. Oh, and it tells you right here a code to get 25% off the sticker subscription. So if you like stickers and uh, maybe you do like bookish um, journaling, it's going to go great. And oh my God, are you kidding me? It's a reading planner. It's like a bookish, oh my God. Oh, you guys, are you kidding me? First of all, Owl Crate, whoa. So see, it's like a weekly planner. Oh my God. Look, bookish wish, wish list, monthly book things. Are you kidding me? I love this so much. This is incredible, especially for 2021. I want to get more organized and um, I'm guessing this book box was made for me. Not really, but I like to think so. And the last and final book, it is this gorgeous book. And it is Among the Beasts and Briars by Ashley Poston. Ashley Poston actually created Geekerella. And Geekerella, um, I believe it's a trilogy. It's definitely, I have the first book. I read it. I gave it a five stars. I got the second book for my birthday. And, um... The third book came out and it I believe that one's a Beauty and the Beast retelling and you guys know that I love retellings. But yeah, look, this is the author's note and this book is gorgeous. Look at it. 
and look at this the, the pages the pages oh my god it is signed by her right here as well beautiful and then we have a gorgeous gorgeous a cover to the book right here i love when books do this i think it's beautiful i think it makes the book like 50 times more special i don't know why it just it just does and even though i do keep you know the dust cover jackets on i think it's a i think it's a really nice detail because we love like fan art of things so it's just providing us with a little piece of heaven and the last and final book box it is our crates december bug box you guys this one is coming in packed and i can barely open it <laughs> all right so here we are first of all let's just begin with again look at this gorgeous love is a battlefield love it and the first thing that we see here are ooh leg warmers y'all let me tell you something when i was in high school i was obsessed with leg warmers it was like middle school high school i went through a phase where i used to just buy boots and then put like leg warmers or like dresses tights and leg warmers i was living out my 80s dream but my god i love leg warmers and look at the buttons it has like ugh, the bookish details on them oh my god I love them and they're so comfy again thank you Florida for participating in winter these come in actually great let's move this here all right we have a bookish a candle no this is not a candle this is hand cream yes it says a fiction bath co this is ice and shadow this is a peppermint wood hand cream you guys again it's cold in Florida hell is literally freezing over <laughs> so this is a hand cream and um, I always have hand cream on me because I have dry hands and oh that smells so good it does have like hints of like peppermint I don't know it's just like that really clean smell and it doesn't feel oily at all like it quickly dissolves into your hands it's fantastic I love it next thing that we have here it is owl crate exclusive I have not opened this so um oopsies we're gonna find out what is this oh look is this a Christmas ornament some things do not have to be said love speaks for itself oh my god how cute is that so like next year hopefully i'll be in my own place and i'll be married fingers crossed so i'm gonna have my first bookish ornament how freaking cute is that oh love it all right next thing that i see here it is a owl crate exclusive alias and laia leia it's a puzzle which i am guessing this is um what is it yeah this is an ember in the ashes puzzles that's another thing about me that you guys might not know but i'm obsessed with puzzles i love to just chill and relax and just build puzzles and by the look of this picture this puzzle is going to be fantastic i have not read this uh, trilogy or actually the fourth book just came out so it's not a trilogy anymore it's just a series but i don't know if i'm ever going to read it if you have read that series please let me know in the comment sections down below if i should pick it up or if i should not all right and then the next one it is the mo wow okay nori so the next thing here it is the monthly enamel pen these violet delights which we already know what the book is going to be because of the pen but let me tell you i have the book of the month edition but this one oh you guys it's green that gold is popping oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to open it see like i opened these with you guys 
like I I wait because I want to be I want you guys to be as excited as I am right now let me tell you this book is gorgeous I am going to be picking this up next month because oh my god are you kidding me this is the author's note right here Chloe Gong is I'm pretty sure she is very young but I heard that the story is really nice right here first of all let's just talk about how gorgeous this is this is a fantasy retelling of Romeo and Juliet oh excuse me bookish gods hello this is the most beautiful book i've ever seen in my entire life oh my god are you kidding me this is giving me like hamilton vibes i'm so lucky to have this in my collection oh my god let me show you the art on the back <gasps> stop it look at how gorgeous this is oh my god okay wow spoiled we are literally spoiled owl crate again it just goes above and beyond okay yeah so it says in glittering shanghai a month's monster awakens so there is these two gangs that again they're rivals they hate each other and they're in shanghai but something is making the members actually claw their eyes out and literally just tear them apart from the inside and um i'm guessing it's a monster or it's a curse we don't know so these two from the rival gangs have to team up together to figure out what is going on the book in general is absolutely gorgeous but let me tell you oh this is definitely one of the most beautiful books i own easily and that's on period okay period all right y'all and that is the end of this video oh my god i feel so lucky and i feel so blessed to have had all of these books come from bookish boxes plus the goodies have been incredible i'm pulling this one out so yes all of these i have everything that i love here we got some thrillers we have some romances we have some ya fantasies and we have almost a new adult fantasy and then we have some sci-fi here and then we have this gorgeous book if you have stuck around to the very end thank you so much again if you want a chance to get this limited edition owl crate copy of this gorgeous book you let me know in the comment sections down below if you like this trilogy if you did not like it or if you hated it just let me know anything about holly black or what is your favorite book from holly black now my arm is literally getting tired because this is all of these books are thick so yeah please let me know if you do want and by the end of next week i will post an instagram video and a twitter video of who the winner is thank you so much for watching my channel i'll leave all the codes down below and I will see you next time. Bye!